Good afternoon, Ghanaians. Good afternoon, the nation. My name is King Garba, the one, King of Kings. from northern region Tamale I'm living in Kingdom Palace or Royal Palace I having a very a good message to Ghanaian people and I having a very important message President of Ghana Excellency Nana Akufuado Ghana is not going the way we all know he is aware of that. But I just wanted to tell something special to voice it out, people of Ghana, people of the nation, Excellency Nana Akufuado. I was wanted to remind him that a road that you used to climb a tree, the same road that you used to flow and come down. He is forgetting a lot of things. The people that you have believed on them, the people that they surrounded you, the people that you believe that they are telling you the right thing, they are your enemies. Because they are self-interest, they cannot tell you what is right. They cannot tell you what you're supposed to do. They cannot show you the way that is why Ghana is going this way. Because God is a God. God is not a human being. So human being, we cannot take our own decision. That is why we believe in God, we believe in spirit. I was telling or using this word because we see it in spiritual what? World and the land. Excellency Nana Akufuado. He is the president of Ghana. When we didn't take time to watch our back and we are watching our front, what's going to happen in Ghana this 2022 ending to 2023? It's not going to be a good thing for Ghanaians. What I'm going to say, I'll make sure that this is what's going to happen. This is what we see in spiritual world. 2016, let's cut everything short in 2016. I was saying that Nana Akufuado is going to win the election. 2020, I was saying that whether in justice or not justice, Nana Akufuado is going to win 2020 election. But I was saying that not to win the election, how to control the country is my problem. Now, you are the one watching me. Go back to 2020. Go back to 2016. 2021, I was saying that ending of 2021 to 2022, West Africa, this is the country that could go to happen. And it has happened. 2021, end of 2022, I was saying that Ghana, as then sharing a blood, a lot of things going to happen. It has happened. Now, this is 2022. What going to happen in 2022 to 2023? Whether you like it or not, take it or leave it, you will see it. People of Ghana will see the real truth about King of King. Excellency Nana Akufuado, he is the president of Ghana. He has all powers to do everything that he wants to do, and no one can challenge him. Like there is one thing can challenge him. When he was watching his front, he's not watching his back. The back going to be a challenge for him. That's the challenges that he was facing. That's the problem that he was facing in Ghana here. It's just like a president. Mention his name is the president. Every human being knows Nana Akufuado. He is the president of Ghana. 
It's just by the name. It cannot do anything in what the president is supposed to do. Why? Because they are controlling him like a remote. Because the people that they surrendered him, his own ministers, they are not telling him the writing. The people that they are suffering because they want Nana Akufuado to, to get power, to be a president of Ghana, both spiritually and physically. People that they pray for Nana Akufuado. MPP to come power. MPP to control the Ghana. That people, both spiritual and physically, they turn their back to them. Nana, Excellency Nana Akufuado, I was begging you in the name of God. Watch your back very well. Remind that the time that you want to be a president, the promise that you give to people, the promise that you promise the people that they support you, the promise that you promise the spiritual people, the promise that you promise for malams, the promise that you promise the pastors, the promise that you promise people that they fight giving to you fiscally. Remind that. If not that, what is happening today, it will be better what going to happen tomorrow. What happened today, it will be better what going to happen tomorrow. We have some people, they suffer giving to the party. They suffer giving to Excellency Nana Akufuado and his ministers and the people that is surrounded him. They are not telling him the truth. And if Ole doesn't know today, I was telling him. We have some people, you see them, they are not anybody. But they are somebody to God. Because God is answered their prayers. God is protecting them. God is telling them what's going to happen today and tomorrow. God is telling them what's going to happen now and today. Everything that the person will say, God will answer the person. Prayers. God's spirit is following the person. You must know that. Excellency Nana Akufuad. I'm your son. I can call you my father. But that doesn't mean that when we see the real truth, we shouldn't talk. We must talk. And there is a lot of things in 2020, I was saying it, for us to do performances, to give in the spirit of the land. Whether you hear it or not, I don't know. You forget it. Because you are you are, uh, the people that they will advise you, the people that they surrounded you, because they are self-interest. They cannot tell you the truth for you to follow it. They pretend to love you. Say pretend. They don't love you. Wait, they love you. They will tell you the truth. This is what's going to happen. And this is what is happening in this country. From, 2020, from 2016 to 2020. This is what happened. Now we're having a power. So this 2020, this is what we're supposed to do. So that Ghanaians will know that we'll do better things for Ghana. So today, when we are not thinking about that, and we still need power, MPP still need power for 2024, what message that they will give to Ghanaian people? So the people that they fight, the people that they pray from 2016, 2020, MPP come to power. They will be continued doing or they also they will move their hands on the party. This is the question. MPP, President of Ghana, Excellency Nana Akufuado, you should think about that. Or MPP, they don't want the power anymore. If they don't want any power anymore for 2024, what about the rest of the years? We are talking something that is happening now. 
if Excellency Nana Akufuado didn't watch his back very well, what is happening today, it will be better what's going to happen tomorrow. A lot of people pray the party to come to power. What benefit did you get from that? But there is one thing that I want Excellency Nana Akufuado to remind, I was reminding him, whether he forget or not, and his ministers. People that they pray, the party to come to power. People that they fight, the party to come to power, both spiritual and fiscal. The same people can fight the party to come to down. The same people can pray, can fight, can do everything. Problems upon problems to come to down. We're supposed to know that. A person who helped you today, for you to be a someone, the same person can let you come down today. That is why they said, a person who knows you very well, who can bring you down? Because the person knows your script. The person knows how you and him started. The person knows everything about you. The promise that you promised the person. The, the, the words that you already voiced it out. The person has everything. And God is witness between you and the person. Excellency Nana Akufuad, I was begging you. Shame is not good for you. And disgrace is not good for you. I was begging you for you to remember your back, to watch your back very well, to think the promise that you have with people so that you can do it as soon as everything as possible. That shame and that disgrace to go away and leave you. You are still going to be a president of Ghana. When you finish your term, you will still be a someone like how we know you. Don't follow what people have been saying, the people that they surrounded you, the people that they are your enemies, give, showing you a, giving you a bad advice, you take it to the work. I swear to God. I say today it will be better than tomorrow what's going to happen. Unless you watch your back very well. What I was saying is that, or what I see is that, I was seeing it in spiritual world what's going to happen. And this 2022 to 2023, I was begging member of the Council of States, you should watch very well what is happening in Ghana. Is it good? How they can control it? This 2022 up to 2024, what is going to happen in Ghana is not going to be a good, both spiritual and fiscal. Because today, I can say that from this 2022 to 2023, this is what's going to cause war in Ghana. A land boundaries going to cause a lot of problems in Ghana here. That one going to create a war before everything. A land boundaries. A chimpanzee going to create a war in this country. We should pray very hard so that that thing cannot happen. 2021, end of 2021, I was saying, as MPP, they are going to promise if they don't take time it will be a problems upon problems to the party. I said it. So now, today, and I wanted to repeat something special. We talk about MPP, we talk about NDC, we talk about all the parties, party A, party B, we talk about it. Everything that I'm going to say, what I see in spiritual world, I will voice it out so that people of the nation to benefit from me. And I wanted to say something. John Dramani Mama, before he will be a president of Ghana, 2008, we are going to vote. I say we are voting John Dramani Mama. People didn't understand. When God called event, at times that they know that this is the reality about my ways. 2012, I was saying that John Dramani is going to win the election, but he cannot find it easy. It will take time before, and it will bring problems upon problems, and it's happened. 2016, I was saying that John Dramani cannot be a president of Ghana again. Nanado going to win the election, and he win the election of Ghana. He has been a president of Ghana, 2020, 2016. 2020, 2020, I was saying that 
Excellency Nana Akufuado going to win the election of 2020, whether justice or injustice, he's going to be the president of Ghana. But that's not my problem, how to control the country. That's my problem. And now, 20, this 2022, John Dramani Mama, he having a high spirit among them, everybody who's going to context. But we didn't reach that place yet. We're still having a few years more. But for now, John Dramani Mama, the spirit, his spirit was very high. He having a higher spirit in spiritual war. The people that are suffering, giving people that they will need the power, after they get the power, they turn their backs to them. God is not sleeping. God is not a human being. God knows we human beings, everything that we are doing. I am a spiritual man. I was talking everything by the Spirit. I don't have any party, party B, party A, MPP, NDC. No. The reason why I was saying, and I'm giving this message to Excellency Nana Akufuado, because he is the president of Ghana today. Whether we like it or not, either for you to take it or leave it, but we are telling the writing, and the writing must be done. If not that, I say what is happening today, it will be better what's going to happen tomorrow. I say 2022, ending of 2021 to 2022. I say sharing the blood, people will be attacking people, as then, and all this thing was happening today. I don't know whether Excellency Nana Akufuado, he was hearing what I was saying for him to know what is happening none of the spirit or what what is happening today it will be better what going to happen tomorrow so i was begging igp minister of interior they are there to protect us our life and property they should protect ghana very well they should let the ghana security fiscally to be very tight for this 2022 2023 2024 because 2024 election is going to be like a war. I said it from 2021 and I was repeating it. Sharing the blood, a lot of things going to happen. If only we didn't take time, a land boundary is going to be a, a bring a war in Ghana here. A chimpanzee is going to be a war, create a war in Ghana here. But this is what we see in spiritual war. Because we are not politicians. But we are Ghanaians. We are Ghanaian citizens. If things are going this way, we didn't come out to say it, and we didn't come out to find a solution about what is to happen. We, we know today, we don't know tomorrow what's going to happen again. That is why I was saying what is happening today, it will be better what's going to happen tomorrow. My name is Cain Garba. My number is 0244 But I was telling people what is right and what is happening. Bye-bye.